physiotherapy for the next six months. Positive letter. Now the idiot. Let's deal with the hissy little Mary. See if I need to make a phone call. So. Can't do nothing, obviously. I've done a little bit of pottering about today. It's mowed the garden up to as far as the fence post there. All nice and clean out here for Roxy. Washings on the line drying. Did the front garden. Just standing still, rocking it like a baby. So I'm not moving about on my knee. Let's see what the little bitch wants. Fat bull fuck. Sick of their psychological abuse. Can't do nothing about my situation. Right. This is the hissy fit letter that he sent me. I just didn't bother opening it until this morning because why ruin my weekend? Can't phone no one. Can't respond to it, can you? So they're just doing the uh, same as what the council tactic is. Send you a bill on a Friday or Saturday so you haven't got time to respond to it. You're then stressed for the whole weekend. Right, so we're back to Friday appointments now. Because why would I want to fully ground on a Friday and then go and uh, deal with this idiot who's going to piss me off and stress me out and put me back in a negative state? So that's the first thing I've noticed from this because he's obviously watching my uh, profiles, isn't he? Like they do. So he grounds on a Friday to get rid of all the week's stress. Uh, oh look, Roxy's got a nice clean toy as well. Right, let's see what we want here. So when's this? This is to confirm your next appointment is on Friday the 27th of August. And I got it on Friday. <laughs> Says here the letter was sent on the 23rd of August. But it turned up on Friday. With that letter. Which is why I opened the two letters this morning. Because I knew one of them was going to be him. So I got it late. When you attend your appointment, blood. Oh, I don't even need to be reading this, then, do I? <sighs> Hang on a minute. Small print at the bottom of the letter. Good job. It's right, I'm reading it privately first and just reacting to it so you can hear the astonishment in my voice once I catch them out again. Right. <laughs> We have re when you attend the appointment, the environment will feel very different as we as we put in place put in place clear measures to support social distancing. We have reduced office opening days and times. We have introduced health and safety processes, uh, health and safety so council processes before each appointment including access to hand sanitizer and where available face masks. <laughs> I'm not going in there to fucking work. I'm not on probation as a probationary job. I'm disabled. We have allocated and clearly marked out areas for you to meet with a response.
responsible officer. They keep saying that word, don't they? Responsible officer instead of saying probation officer because the private ones aren't probation officers. They are responsible officers in the case. So, the hidden hand behind the arrest warrant issued directly by the Chief of Police of Cambridgeshire Constabulary, Nick someone or other. Can't remember old Herpes's lip. But the arrest warrant and the arrest charge came through after I flipped his, flipped his uh, police helicopter off when I was uh, burning rubbish in my garden when he came over to do a flyby. So that's why I got charges thrown at me for flipping off his police helicopter when he was trying to observe me in my garden doing nothing wrong. Right, so responsible officer. In order to support these measures, please ensure you attend your appointment on time. Although we understand it may be necessary for you to travel with friends or family, they are unable to come into the building. Right, so friends and family didn't come into that building. Who we tried to get into that building was the witness in my court case, who was my son, and they denied him entry. Wouldn't let my witness in the building because they couldn't have a witness, could they? Because it was a closed court. And it was a setup. <laughs> and everything else that I've said it was. Simple as that. Didn't want any witnesses. They are unable to come into the building. You may not be seen by your allocated responsible officer, but we'll continue to have, we'll continue to have contact with them through telephone calls. So all this hissy fit about a face-to-face -face appointment that I couldn't get to because of my knee disability. And it's saying here it's done over the phone anyway. So, right, that's the end of the matter, hissy little bitch. You know, the probation officer has just confirmed what I've said. Now I'll wait for the next letter that he's going to try and send me. Because I've abided by the judge's orders. I've kept in contact with them. Been honest about my disability. And they've tried to force me against my will so far to commit crime, commit perjury, and... Basically say I'm lay lying on my disability claim form. If I can't make the appointment, I can't physically make the appointment. No point in threatening me or trying to coerce me into doing it if I can't do it. Because then you're calling me a liar on the disability form, aren't you? So that's the end of the matter. Right, I don't need to phone the probation. Actually, I will, just to find out when the next appointment is, because he's going to be hissy fitting and not texting or giving me the next appointment date on time or whatever. You know what I mean? But it's all bullshit. So let's uh, make this call.
Is that a bank holiday or something? Three fifty three PM. So work day. We have reduced the number of individuals. Do, 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 do. We have introduced. We have reduced office opening days and times. Right, so what are they? Oh, there's a back of the letter. If you are displaying any symptoms or reside with any individuals who display symptoms, please do not attend. If you have health condition as outlined by the government advice, then please discuss with you. We may continue to offer telephone contact only. We appreciate that it's very difficult, but our role is to manage the harm and risk of reoffending. All right, okay, and support you as you make positive changes to our type. And right, right, that's the end of that call because they're obviously not open or answering the phone. And it's annoying me while I'm trying to read. If you have a health condition, as outlined by, by the government advice, no, by my doctor's advice. And they know better than the government, don't they? Because they actually work on the medical problem. So if you have a health condition, as outlined by the government advice, then please discuss with your responsible officer who may continue to offer telephone contact only. We appreciate this, that this will feel a very different, this will feel very different, but our role is to manage risk and harm and risk of reoffending and support you making positive changes in your life. And like other organisations, we have adapted to this current situation. We will continue to review the, the, this delivery model in line with government advice. And then it's got his name, phone number, Underneath his name says responsible officer, does not say probation officer. Does not say probation officer, does it? So He's either an inserted government asset or he's a copper. And I don't work with either. I don't even have any contact with either because I'm simply not interested in their dirty, filthy, corrupt ways. I'm abiding by a judge's decision from a set up court case, so it is what it is. Everyone knows the truth of it, but it is what it is. So we just get on with life for now until I've got absolute proof that I was set up, which he's already slipped up and admitted next door, boasting, apparently, because I was being childish so being childish is a reason to set you up brown here all right but he said that's what you get i said all oh, right okay glad i heard that so then we had uh his mate at the back there tried to set up another fight with that neighbour there and her husband 
she called me a paedophile to get me to go absolutely fucking batshit on her. So I tried to provoke while her husband's standing beside her, arms crossed in a territorial position, telling me to watch my mouth. So he wanted the fight. She was trying to instigate it and she set the whole thing up. Right? Risk of reoffending. Another setup. So there you go. I've exposed them all properly now. And I'm sitting laying on my bed. So there you go. Knee's still playing up. Stuff's still getting done. That I've got to cut in an angle, as you can see. So then that'll be like that. Once it's cut into shape, so I work out what's the best side to use, which one's got the least holes drilled in it, because they're gonna be cut off. Um that sort of shit. See which one's got the best edge. If it's already got a cut edge, I use the cut edge first. Gonna need to work out how to do it because it's a funny angle and I've got no room to work with on the side. So it might just need to be cut straight across there to fit it. Straight through that line. Then I can round off the same as what I've done with the edge through the worktop, if you see what I mean. And the edge down, or the corner there. Or I might do it out of pallet wood, because this is just chipboard, and that's just going to splinter and fall to bits. So I might actually do it out of the pallet wood as well, make a small lid stick some flooring in underneath it so it's got a base to the actual thing in there and then the remotes and phones and anything else that need to go in there can sit in there back it in like a uh, all that sort of gubbins can all go in that little flip top. Computer's only up there while I'm sitting on my bed, if you see what I mean. That might go in the corner yet, under there. Don't know yet. Because I've got to work out a way of doing this so I can utilise the radiators for heating in the winter which is, the weather's going to start turning soon, so. I don't need to waste my time worrying about the probation because it's just fucking explained itself, isn't it? Oh, are we doing some data feeds? Yeah. The woman that tried causing all the problems at the weekend and the problems with Roxy and everything else, she's decided to uh, remove herself, like I told her to do, from my friends list. And someone that I noticed had been removed from my friends list is back on my friends list because I didn't block him so he removed himself and now he's back on it again so 
first of all, let's see if there's any energy spikes going on. Oh, I can't sit like that, bending my knee. Putting too much pressure on it. And we're back to the buffering with one tab open. So they're still at it. I'm just letting them give themselves away for the moment and then I'm going to deal with it. I'll get somebody else to uh, fry their system. Oh my god, look at that lot. Alright, where's midnight? There's midnight. One, two, so half past one, quarter to two, still awake then. Still awake for that energy spike pillar. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm awake at that time, having a piss. Had a really bad night's sleep last night. I was up and down all fucking night. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven till eight, nearly nine o'clock on that arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven when I woke up. And we got a full light pillar. So 11, 12, 1, about quarter to two. All right, okay. So we've got the time, time zones on it worked out. Let's have a quick look at earthquakes. Where's our Sandwich Islands? There it is. Second one on the list as soon as I open the page up. Anything else happen now overnight or since I woke up? Really low on battery now, so I'm only going to charge it up enough to uh, upload the video. Then, it, then the smartphone's going back off, right? So, nothing on that one. Let's just copy paste that before I lose it. That's going on Facebook in a minute. Might as well see what I'm doing, isn't it? While I'm doing it. Copy paste it before I open up a new tab. Missed the two off, so I've got to add the two before adding it. BGS. We got two. 29th, and it's the 30th today, so both yesterday. Got two felt reports, one off a of 0.9. Oh no. Three felt reports on that one, Comrie, Perth and Kim Ross, so Highlands, volcanic area. Right, that's the end of that. How's the weather looking? Because it's just grey and overcast here at the moment. I'm not going to bother click on the cookies. But we've got to do it this way anyway. Right, let's have a quick look. Turn the lightning thing on. Since I clean the computer. Spain, Northern Italy. Storm moving towards. Rome. So 
reason I've got the rotation going clockwise over the UK. What's the Bay of Biscay looking like? That's pushing down into the Bay of Biscay. That, that might turn later on. Let's we'll see what they want to do. Rain radar. Just grey and overcast then, isn't it? Right, that's the end of that. Right, so are you watching this? Because one tab open, buffering. Three tabs open. And again, two, Task done. Oh, no, it's not. Chinese curry. Off today, off tomorrow. Yes, I will get round to cleaning the fridge. Currently, don't need to, do I? It's just something else for you to do, isn't it? Yeah, I know, it's fiddly doing it, one-handed, but that's enough for me. Chicken veg taters. That's all curry veg. And oven chips is, isn't it? No matter what sauce you got on it.
aren't really playing up at the moment. Uh, otherwise my butt would have gone pop then as well. Right. Curry in. Just got a little bit of washing up to do. Three oven dishes, a bowl, a saucepan and an oven dish. Washing can be put away today. That can go out on the line actually. Uh, let's get some light in here, Roxy. If I trip over you, I'm going to kick you. That's from where I was shaving my head yesterday. 